Today's guest uh, speaker is actually um, a very, very special guest, and it's really our honor to have him here at the University of Michigan. Professor Xiao Su Hua ranks among China's foremost choreographers and teachers of contemporary dance. He is a distinguished professor at the Beijing Dance Academy, former senior visiting scholar at the Bolshoi Ballet, executive vice president of the Ballet Art Committee of the China Dancers Association, so Zhongguo Wudao Jia Xie Hui, Ballet Yi Shu Wei Yuan Hui, Chang Wu Fu Hui Zhang. It's a very important title. Um, he's also the recipient of a special allowance for state artists um, by the China State Council. Um, so, Guo Yuan Te Shu Gong Xian Zhuan Jia, this is also a very great honor. Professor Xiao has represented China at 43 major um, judging panels of international ballet and contemporary dance competitions around the world. He has also served more than 20 times on judging panels of national dance competitions in China. He also continues to be a prolific and active choreographer, teacher, and writer. And he's actually contributed um, DVDs of three of his most recent um, dance choreographies that will be in the Asia Library, one of which he'll be talking about today, the um, White Snake sequel. And he also contributed two of his most recent choreography books, one of which contains essays analyzing his choreographic works. His choreography brings together Soviet dramatic and symphonic dance idioms with traditional Chinese tales like Dream of Red Chamber and White Snake. Today, Professor Xiao maintains close, creative relationships with global dance institutions, including the Bolshoi Ballet, traveling frequently and sitting on numerous juries in Asia and Europe. This is his first workshop tour or lecture tour in the United States. He's already given talks at Princeton, Yale, and Columbia. This is his last one. He actually heads back to China tomorrow. So we're very fortunate to have him. Um, and he is fluent in Russian and Mandarin. So let's welcome Professor Xiao. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I'm so sorry because my English is not so good. Uh, so I invite uh, my old friend, Mei Ling, to help me to translate. Uh, I am very happy to be here it's my honor to be speaking here at the University of Michigan, and I'd like to thank um, the Confucius Institute, and especially the director, Joseph Lam, and I'd also like to thank the Center for Chinese Studies. Uh,我今天的节目叫《五句传说的唐朔与穿心》，但是这个五句的有先天词啊，因为很多都是在国外都是叫五句，我们所说的五句是大兴的五句，有故事情节，有人物，有有形象。So the topic of my talk today is dance drama, and I just want to clarify what I mean by that. In China, when we talk about dance drama, and what I'm talking about today is uh, specific, so it's a large-scale work that contains narrative, characters, and images. Uh, so if we exclude the period of the Cultural Revolution and just look at modern Chinese dance drama history, there's over 550 dance drama works that have been created in China. Um, unfortunately, not all of them are of an extremely high quality, however. 1987年到1988年，我作为一个高级法文学者，到莫斯科大剧院，啊，师从一个很伟大的一个啊，巴留大师格里格罗维奇。In 1987-1988, I served as an advanced visiting student um, in Moscow, and I worked with a very well-known um, ballet dancer, Grigorovich. 一一年半以后，我回国。在各种学术会议和刊物上 
明确的指出，中国的五 G 创造落后于世界六十到七十年。So、uh, one and a half years later, I returned to China and I began publishing pretty critical remarks all over the Chinese dance field, and I argued that Chinese dance drama was 60 to 70 years behind that of the international scene. 但是很多人不理解，甚至是围攻我，说我崇洋媚外，看外国的园林比中国的远。而、啊、当时我在北京舞蹈学院、解放军学院和民族大学教课，所以我也没有时间跟他们进行争论。但是我的观点始终是没变。So at the time, some people criticized me and said I was just in love with foreign things, and I thought the the moon、um, outside of China was rounder than the moon in China. It's a famous saying for people who love foreign things more than Chinese things.、Um, however, at the time, I was teaching at the Beijing Dance Academy, the Minzu、um, University, and also at the PLA Arts Academy. So I didn't have time to debate with them, but I maintained my position. 有些就有人说，你小时候只会耍嘴皮子。那你拿出作品说话行不行？于是我就被逼上梁山了。So people challenged me and said, "Okay, well, why don't you just stop、um, talking about this and actually show us a dance drama yourself?" 不过问题随之而来了。如果我去模仿任何一个外国的和中国的舞剧编导，那最终我还是要落后到别人的后面。于是我痛下决心，一定要搞一个中外没有人、任何人搞过的一个舞剧的模式。哪怕是失败，也是做啥在所不惜。So this was a big challenge because I felt if I copied、um, the works of other countries or even the models of other countries, I would always be behind them, and I didn't want to be in that situation. So I decided I was going to come up with a new、uh, structure, a new type of dance drama, and if it failed, then it failed. But at least I tried. 呃，二零二零零五年年的六月份，我就推出了一个大型现代舞剧《梦红楼》。So in June of 2005, I put forth a large-scale dance drama called Meng Honglou. So I'm just going to keep this in the Chinese. There's a famous novel called Honglou Meng. He's changing it and calling it Meng Honglou. Ah, 当时呃，广州八六团的团长张丹丹特别喜欢，他就让我搞一个现代版。所以我零七年又到广州八六团又拍了个现代版的梦红楼。嗯，原版是芭蕾还是现代？原版是现代的。嗯。零五年是现代的，第二版是零七年是芭蕾。So the original piece in 2005 was、um, using modern dance, and two years later, the Guangdong、uh, Ballet Company invited him. They really liked the piece, and so they invited him to create a ballet version in 2007. 啊，大家知道《红楼梦》是一个中国最经典、最伟大的一部长篇小说。我在文化大革命当中第一次读到这部巨著，它的博大、豪悍、深邃。三十年来，一直让我感叹不已。因此，在我进入创作时，《红楼梦》理所当然的成为我的首先的选材。So everybody knows《红楼梦》，sometimes translated as the story of the stone or dream of the red mansions, is one of the most famous pieces of Chinese literature. I first read it myself during the Cultural Revolution, and I just found it to be of great artistic depth. And for thirty years, I was reflecting on it, and so this was a natural choice for me in terms of the topic for my first work. 然而，当我真正面对这部小说时，我很清晰地认意识到了，即使有一万个三头六臂的小说家，也绝对无法顶过一个曹雪芹。嗯，况且一部舞剧根本无法表现一百零四万汉字的内容，唯一的选择就是走创新之路。嗯 So of course I was faced with a challenge because even if I was a superhuman choreographer, I would never be able to overcome the author of、uh, Hong Luo Meng, Cao Xueqian. At the same time, there's no way that a single dance drama could express、um, a story that has about over a million words. It's a very, very long novel. 那么什么叫创新？说的简单通俗一点，就是做别人没做过的事，做出一条别人没走过的路。So I decided the only path was to find a new path. So I wanted to try to find a, a way that no one else had interpreted this work before. 于是我决定用颠覆的、颠覆曹雪芹的方式向曹雪芹致敬，用篡改原著的无理的手段向《红楼梦》致敬。Mm. So I decided to take、uh, this method of 颠覆 Um, someone want to suggest a good translation for that? It's a complicated word, 颠覆 Overturn. <coughs> so basically, sort of doing this to it. <laughs> What? Tweaking. Tweaking. Yeah, tweak, yeah. Bigger than that, but yeah, sort of. Yeah, yeah. Tweaking is much 
Yeah, so he wants to take this sort of attitude towards the work, um, take some of the unreasonable aspects of this novel and um, do something interesting with them. Uh, and also Chuanggai, so um, a newly adapt and change, adapt. Basically take a really um, new vision of this novel. So I decided to um, use Brecht, Bertolt Brecht, the famous um, theatrical um, innovator and theorist. I decided to use his method um, for the entire dance drama uh, choreography interpretation. So the center of um, Brecht's approach is sometimes referred to as alienation or distancing effect. So when Brecht um, himself explained what this effect was, he said it's to take um, some th things or people and to take what we normally associate and take to be normal and um, expected regarding these things or people and make them into something stunning or surprising or strange. Mm. And because this novel, Dream of Red Mansions, was known to all in China, this gave us many opportunities for alienation and distancing. So the main character of our dance drama is a contemporary youth who's um, reading online about Hong Long Meng and then he falls asleep and enters into that world. So the ori original novel was written in 1760. So in the story, our, our, our Bao Yu, who's the name of the main character, goes back to 250 years ago. And he's in that world, but there's also a lot of things appearing in that world that wouldn't have been there. Uh, for example, so for example, there's a famous sequence with the 12 beauties, and in our version of it, he, He's like um, a Spanish matador using a red cape um, uh, in the scene, the way we interpret it. Oh, excuse me. So it sounds like the 12 beauties are actually the matadors with the capes who are seducing him. We saw a video of it earlier. And then, and then the, his assistants or his servants are wearing boxing gloves and fighting back with them. And so in the story, um, the mother of uh, Bao Yu appears in our dance drama and she's carrying a conductor's wand and entering into the battle with that tool. And so in order to express the fact that he's not going to be beaten down, Bao Yu stands up, but then he starts singing a song by a contemporary Taiwanese composer called The Boat Song. <laughs> so in the story, um, the two characters actually successfully get married, which doesn't happen in the original novel, but when, at that moment, two helicopters come down and bring their wedding costumes to them. Mm. 
So they have the sequence during the wedding where um, they're actually standing on a revolving stage. Um, and in, in the book, there's a, a stepmother who's there, but in this version, it's, um, it's uh, Bao Yu's mother who's there. And then there's multiple um, wives, which wouldn't happen in a normal wedding. Mm. And so in the story, there's a really important sequence where the main character thinks that he's marrying the woman he loves, but then actually at the last minute, she's switched out for the woman that his, the, the, the mother figure wants him to marry. And so they depict this sequence using this revolving stage, and they sort of jump in and, and switch them on stage. Mm. And there's a really famous scene in the novel where um, it's a very sad scene where the woman who's the love figure, who's, who's switched out, who doesn't get to be with her lover, is um, burying her love poems and her memories with them. So, and it's called Burying the Flowers. Mm. And so, but in our version, it's actually the main male character who's speaking during the scene. And so he buries all of his um, youth and dreams. Uh, mm, and so it's slightly different because in the original version it's a young woman who's sort of singing a sad song about her youth and we change the meaning of it by making it his, his version instead. Mm. <laughs> And so at this point, of course, the main character Bao Yu is very sad. And so in order to try to cheer him up, his mom dresses up like Santa Claus and starts dancing around. Those of you who came early would have seen the video, but at this point, um, there's a bunch of dancers dressed up like Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck and Hello Kitty who are dancing across the stage. Wow. <laughs> 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 But Bao Yu won't be um, distracted by all these things, and he still wants to be with his loved ones, so he actually goes to the ghost world to find her, and they dance a duet together. And so he's able, um, through his persistence, to bring her back to life and bring her back to the human world. Oh, but his mother found out. Uh, so she uh, brought over two servants. <laughs> and they, they uh, have Tommy guns and they start shooting. Uh, and so they wake him up because, of course, right, he's, this is all part of a dream. <laughs> so the, the contemporary Baoyu wakes up. <laughs> Mm. So this was our overturning of Hong Long Meng, right? The original story through all these different methods and also our attempt at using Brecht's interpretation or approach to theater in our representation of the story. So we maintain many of the original relationships and storylines um, that are part of the novel, but we uh, alienated them, we distanced them, we made them strange. In my awareness, I believe this is the first time that choreographers have attempted to use Brecht's method to create an entire large-scale dan narrative dance drama. So another aspect of the alienation that we used was actually blending together um, elements that would be seen as foreign and Chinese on, together on the stage. Mm. 
那个教子顶。就是结婚的时候校正结婚证啊，什么拨浪鼓等等等等。嗯 ，so for example, we had、um, like the red costume that would be used in a wedding ceremony. We have、um, the Um, the the props of a table and two chairs that are used in Chinese traditional opera. We have、um, like this type of musical rattle、um, and other elements like a, a wedding、um, certificate, things that would be regular items in China. Ah, that other means we have talked about, for example, the Chinese wedding dress, the 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 wedding dress. Uh, so we have the. 如意仪、米老鼠、唐老鸭等等等等，放大镜、迎接灯。So in terms of the Western elements, we have、um, many things, right? We have Santa Claus. We have、um, we have a magnifying glass at one point. We have helicopters. We have、um, at one point they're drinking this、um, Remy cognac type of Western wine.、Um, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, it goes on. 比如我们的葬花是在一个现代的就不锈钢的那个转椅上进行的。哦、oh.。So,、um, for example, in the scene where he's、um, burning his memories, it actually takes place on a, a stainless steel、um, bent, uh, stool. Ah, but I want to emphasize one thing: that is, we have any equipment, whether it is Chinese or foreign equipment, it always has a personal purpose and purpose. But what's really important is that each of these props or elements is actually、um, selected very with very great、um, intention by the choreographer. 比如是红盖头，红盖头是宝玉戴到呃戴玉的头上，在在中国的几千年的历史上是不可能有的，因为红盖头是在娘家被戴的，新郎是先红盖头，而不是戴。那么这个他自己把红盖头戴到，呃，戴玉的头上，就说明我做主，我说了算， mm. 你们都给我一边站。So for example, the way that they use the red veil that's used in the wedding to cover the the white the new wife's face, they had the the bridegroom actually place that on her head himself, <coughs> which traditionally would never be done. It would always happen in the home of of the new bride by her mother or by someone from her family. So in this sense, by changing that detail. They wanted to suggest the idea that Bao Yu is insisting that he's the one making the decision here. 比如说，宝玉把那个通灵油丢了，他们拿着这么大的、这么大的放大镜去找，或者还有拿迎接灯。And so, for example,、um, the, uh, Dayu, or Bao Yu, the main male character, has a really、uh, important jade totem that he wears. And during the story, he loses it, and they take magnifying glasses and they're looking around trying to find it. So symbolically, this jade item actually represents his entire identity, including his class status, everything to do with、um, who he is. And so it's significant that he's throwing it away, right? And he, he loses it intentionally. So in the book, the poet said that if you don't take it, you can't take it away from everyone. And so then other people on the side say, "Well, you better not lose that because you won't be able to live on. That's you know, that's your life right there." So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the magnifying glass and the magnifying glass. So we have the Mm, and so this is another element of、um, the innovation, as we saw it blending together these things from the past, things from the present, things from China, and foreign things in a really concrete way throughout the dance drama. Ah, 另外我们在舞剧时空方面也做了大量的探索，营造了一个从未见过的时空。因为没有先例可以鉴定它，所以我们暂时给它起了一个名字叫“奇幻的时空”。嗯。And so, in terms of our、um, theorization of this、um, creative methodology and this choreographic practice, we came up with a term to describe what we were trying to create, and that is、um, 奇幻时空 So you could translate that as、um, like an imaginary time space. Ah,、uh, 为了这些事情，因为我们没法看放视频，我们同时在舞台上出现了一个，就他们从民间回来，在舞台这边
So one of the things that we did that, um, with the props was we had a giant four meter high um, copy of a modern day wedding or you know a 20th century wedding certificate that appears when they get married. Mm. And so then on the other side of the stage, there's really traditional looking chairs that you would find in a Peking opera performance, but there's a guy sitting on it talking on a cell phone. <laughs> and, then, and then if you look more carefully, one of the chairs is actually a wheelchair. Mm. And so there's a scene here where the, the bride who gets switched in um, is, is upset and so because he's marrying his, the one he really wanted to marry in this version. And so she's getting drunk on the cognac. And she's also humming a Peking opera tune while this is happening. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and so at this point, also Bao Yu's mother is upset because she was the one who planned this whole switch. And so the two of them are hanging out and um, the, the woman who's upset, who's getting drunk, takes out the a matador cape and she starts trying to um, challenge the mother. And then the mother is in her wheelchair and she's like pretending to be the bull chasing after her. Mm. And so at this point, the uh, marriage certificate image, the four meter high thing on the stage, switches and it turns into a modern day wedding photo, which is something you'd see in people's homes in China today. And so they exchange rings and they get married. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. So this example is all to sort of illustrate the significance of this imaginary time space or fantasy time space depending on how you translate it because this is taking place 250 years ago, but then you have all these elements that wouldn't be there, like the alcohol, the matador cape, the, the, the wheelchair. Um, and so you don't really know, is this a virtual space? Is this a real imaginary space? Is this um, some kind of real space? It's all different possibilities. Uh, <coughs> and so for us, this was a, one of the innovations that we were trying to explore. <coughs> Mm so um, he had a conversation with someone who's an expert who's passed away now, but who really, really liked the piece. And at the time, this is when it first came out, Xiao Suhua himself felt that maybe it wouldn't be appreciated right away. And he thought maybe in 10 years, people might look back and say this was somewhat revolutionary in its time. Even, even mm. So he thought that it was a little bit too extreme and even absurd um, and too avant-garde for people to really appreciate. But then in fact to his um, happiness and surprise, um, a couple of Chinese dance critics, including Jiang Dong, who's a major figure in the dance world, um, wrote pieces about the work and they used the word revolutionary in describing it, so he was really happy. Mm. So in 2012, I'm going to talk about a different piece now. Um, I created a work um, which I'm about to describe. Uh, Mm. So once again, he took this the same challenge for himself. I want to create a large-scale dance drama that will be different from anything that I've seen before. Of course, it sounds easy, but it's not very easy when you actually try to do it. <laughs> mm. And so um, the piece, 
Sure, sure. Oh, okay, so in 2013, the piece was completed, and it is, you could call it, um, so White, Legend of the White Snake is another famous story. He's calling it the sequel, or uh, the after story. We mm, so um, when I create a, a, a dance drama, I usually think of there being four steps. So choosing the content, establishing an idea, um, coming up with the structure, and then doing the choreography. Mm. So the, the content is sort of what am I going to use to express in this piece? And setting up the idea is, okay, what am I going to express with this content? And so the structure is, you know, how do I find the most nuanced, most appropriate um, structure for expressing this? And then the choreography is, okay, what kind of new dance language am I going to use to convey this? So we selected, a, again, a very, very well-known Chinese uh, story called The Legend of the White Snake. Mm. So in a way, we sort of stole the title, um, and we stole the main character's name. So there's three main characters. There's Xu Xian, um, a male character, and then there's two female characters, the White Maiden and the Green Snake. So this story has about a thousand years of um, history, sort of as a, a popular folk tale, but in 1624 was the first time that it was really um, there's uh, records of it being published. Um, so that already gives it about 400 years of history at least. Mm. So what we decided to do is take these three main characters from the story and place them in three different historical periods of 20th century China. So we selected three um, historically significant periods. Mm. The first one is 1919, the May 4th Movement. The second one is the Cultural Revolution from 1966 to 1976. And then the third one is the reform and opening up after the 1980s. Mm. So what we chose as our message or our idea was that the idea that the times can change love. Uh, mm, so this seems like a pretty simple idea, but in my experience, I couldn't think of any other dance dramas that took up this specific theme of how time changes love. <coughs> Mm, and so in Chinese history, of course, these hundred years have seen very massive change in people's values, people's lives, and of course this has um, changed love. Mm. So for example, right now, if a young woman is looking for her Prince Charming, oftentimes she'll first want to know um, his educational level, second thing she'll want to know is how tall he is, um, the third thing she'll want to know is his salary, and then lastly, does he have a house and a car? But if, 
，很很清楚的就是，爱情现在已经淡了很浓厚的功利主义的色彩。嗯、mm. ，So um of course you know people have their own choices of what they look for in a spouse, and everyone has a different idea, and we don't blame them for that, but we want to take up this theme. Of how、um, love has, in some ways, become more utilitarian and it's changed. 已经不像以前像《罗密欧与朱丽叶》、像《梁山伯与祝英台》就那么纯纯正了。So it's not as romantic as in Romeo and Juliet. It's not so pure. 啊，我们的舞剧结构也与其他的任何舞剧不同。我们用了国内外首次在用了一个东方文化的一个轮回式的结构方式。So in the structure, we、um, tried to also innovate, and we based the structure on、uh, the idea of samsara or reincarnation.、Um, we use that as the the time structure. 全球分成三幕，就是原来的这个《白蛇传》里面的就叫的有几个长河，叫一个水满金山，一个金边和断桥。嗯、mm. mm. ，and so we divided it into three sections. The first one is、um, it's sort of abstract. Water rushing over the mountain. The second one is a surprise change, and the last one is a broken bridge. Ah, but our all of the story and the plot and the original Black Sheep story have no connection. And but in this case, we decided to use the characters from the White Snake, but none of the、um, the narrative. We didn't keep any of the original story. We only kept his name and his character. But we kept the name and, and the character, right? So that would resonate with audiences. Ah,、uh, 每次开始，古代的人从遥远的来，就是古代的白娘子、许仙和许家亲。古代的来了，完了以后，召唤成脱胎，脱胎换骨，嗯，就换成另外小许、小白、小青。啊、uh, ，So the very beginning， 是不是？嗯、呃，这里面有没有图片？嗯，是不是？没有，就不用、oh, 不用找了。Okay. So at the beginning, you have the、um, historical ancient characters, and then and then they transform into the modern day characters. 而且每次都是姐妹两个都爱上小徐。嗯、mm. ，and so in each of the three historical periods, we do have、um, one continuity, which is that both the green snake and the white maiden fall in love with Xu Xiang, the male character. 每次小徐爱上姐姐。And in both cases, the result is that he ends up falling in love with the older one, the Qing Qing She, is it? Oh, 姐姐，姐姐，姐姐是白蛇。白蛇。Okay, so in both of the stories, he ends up falling in love with the white maiden. 小白。嗯。但是每一次最后结束的时候，小青，小白走了，小青走到小雪的身边。Uh, okay, but in the end, he ends up with the white, the green snake, because the white snake or the white maiden has gone. <coughs> 啊、uh, ，而且在我们的虽然是一个看起来三角恋爱，但是呢，姐姐和妹妹之间从来没有争分吃醋的，嗯，从来没发生过直接的矛盾冲突。嗯 ，So although this seems like a typical triangle love story, we we made it so that the two women actually never are fighting with each other about this. 我们的我觉得没有通常作品里的正面和反面，好坏。And we also、um, we didn't have clear、um, good and bad characters. We, for the three main roles, took a objective stance, no wrong or wrong criticism, but respect and respect their choice of life. And so we did not have a clear value judgment about whether any of the characters is good or bad, and we allowed them to.、Uh, we acknowledge their own、uh, different choices. Whether it's three people or other things. 除了文化大革命有一点点矛盾冲突以外，全系列都没有更多的戏剧矛盾冲突。嗯、mm, ，So apart from one sequence in、um, the cultural revolution segment, there's a little bit of、um, conflict, but apart from that, we have very little what would be considered dramatic conflict in the story. 更加推翻了就是所有的一般的舞剧当中主要人物之间的戏剧矛盾冲突，推动这个。Mm. So instead, we took the what would normally be dramatic、um, conflict between characters, and we placed that onto the what you could consider the dramatic conflict of the ch changing times. So we put that onto the time. 那当时我们要寻找小白和小徐爱情破裂的真正的罪魁祸首。嗯，那他应该是专做小白的。
时代潮流。嗯、mm. ，And so we decided、um, in our interpretation the so-called arch enemy, as you would normally see, like who steals the man away or who causes this, you know, these two lovers to not be able to be together. And we actually made that be the the historical circumstances. 所以我们在在我们的结果里头就是，曲姆 copied by that， 他起着一个。关键的改变他们命运的一个主要角色的人物。嗯、mm, ，so and in the way we choreographed it, the corps de ballet or the group dance dancers, they represent sort of the way that history enters into this、um, relationship and steals her away. 这个在国内国内外舞剧史上，如果不是没有，也是极为罕见的。嗯、uh, ，so this is also something that I hadn't seen in other dance drama works, and so I thought it was an interesting thing to explore. 啊、uh, ，那我们的啊。Uh, 结尾是特别难难人寻味的。Um, so now I'll talk about the the ending. 实际上，它是我我的离异和编导自我表达的一个电梯之笔。电梯之笔。嗯、mm, ，so so what I there was something that I really want 电梯之笔，你觉得怎么翻译？ Okay. Yeah. So the the ending is what really draws our attention to the main theme. Chinese 有句话叫做“人生如戏，戏如人生”。Hmm. So there's a famous saying that、um, human life is like a a drama, but also that drama enters human life. 我们每个人每天在演出自己人生舞台上的戏，然而经常被迫承担。不是自己想扮演的角色， mm. 演自己喜欢演的戏。嗯、mm. ，So in our in our everyday lives, if we compare those to drama, sometimes we're forced to play roles that we actually don't want to be playing,、um, and we and we perform we perform dramas that are not the what the drama that we would imagine for ourselves. 所以在我们的结尾里头，出现一群啊、uh, 穿的 ，I'm sorry， 这个可以放图片吧？哎、呃，等会儿，对， okay. 白色的那个。Okay. Okay. 穿的那个那个啊，文艺复兴时期的服白色的服装是这个吗 ？Yes， 这是文艺复兴时期的白色的服装。然后呢，音乐是阿维玛丽亚，同声合唱的阿维玛丽亚。嗯 ，So the the characters are wearing a white、um, somewhat Renaissance style costume and the music that's playing is Ave Maria。然后呢，他们他们做的那个动作像那个。Oh, and so the movements that they're doing is like a a type of southern style puppetry theater in China. 对，呃，而且都是。It's like a marionette theater. 小丑大。And they they have clown faces um on their makeup. 实际上，我也想说的说，从我这里来说，包括我在内，我们每个人都是小丑。嗯。And so what I wanted to convey was that actually all of us in a way are like clowns. 我我有时候也是抵不住一种时代或者是别人对我的操纵。嗯、mm, ，and so many times、um, we're not capable of、um, challenging the or being able to resist the movements that the times are actually making us do or controlling us。我也不一定演我自己喜欢的戏。And I might not really be performing the theater that I want to perform。也不一定扮演我自己喜欢的角色。And I might be playing not be playing the role that I really hope to play。所以这样把我们的利益就。普世化了，就是提高的一个，呃，不不完全时代改变爱情，就是普世化了，就是我们每个人都不一定是像理想主义者说的，我们是自己命运的主人。嗯、mm. ，And so this final scene sort of took the the theme of、um, the original theme, which is the times change love, and took it to a higher level, so it's more universalized and really reflecting on this idea that as individuals. It's not always, you know, this really idealistic idea we can do whatever we want. That's not always the case. 总而言之，东方式的轮回式的结构，剧中人物没有正平常有的正反之分，他们之间没有发生直接的戏剧矛盾冲突。群舞成为群舞剧中主宰人主人公命运的主要的力量，以及舞剧的结尾出现与剧中没有任何。关系的小丑人群作为编导自我表达点题之笔
都是成为这个这部舞剧的创新的亮点。嗯、mm. ，So if we just sort of review some of the the explorations and the innovations that we were trying to work with, um, the first one was this um samsara or reincarnation overall structure. Um, the second one is not having clear bad or good characters. Um, the third one is not having a clear dramatic um conflict between the characters. And the th the fourth one is having the corps de ballet play the role of representing fate or time and actually acting on the the main characters. Um, and then lastly, having the the final scene um, use this image of the clown to actually present a, a more abstract or universal theme. Ah, in the music arrangement, we have not done this time with the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And so another another thing that made this um, large scale dance drama sort of unusual and very different from the Dream of Red Mansions is that there were no props and no sets. In Chinese dances, usually there are very expensive costumes, very expensive props, very expensive lighting, very expensive props. So in China, in China um, typically large scale dance dramas have really extravagant sets and lighting and costumes, and it's like very, very um, over the top in terms of the complexity. So, this So, a famous choreographer, uh, Zhang Jigang, actually one of the co directors of the Olympic opening ceremonies, um, when he saw this piece, he said, This seems like a piece that it's like a classroom piece. So this is the very end, last paragraph. I hope in the future, you will not think that I am a wild pig and a wild pig. Okay, someone translate that, please. I, he said, I hope you don't all feel that I am. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. So can someone please translate that saying? Because I'm not familiar with it. Okay, yeah. So don't think that I'm just here to promote my own work. These two books will definitely have many unknown things. 金无主尺，最纯的金，金子也是九十九的九九九。<laughs> so of course there's um there's definitely problems with this. Um, 金无主尺，就没有纯的金子。There's no, oh, and of course there's no pure. There's no perfect mirror. There's no perfect mirror. Yeah, for uh, uh, evaluating yourself. 况且我也深知，山外有山，天外有天，世上自有高人在。Mm -hmm. So of course, um, I recognize there are people who um, are much better than myself. I just want to make these two movies and so I just uh, what my hope is that in these two dance dramas, I can use my own um, voice and my own thoughts. To carry out an equal conversation with 21st century dance drama creation. So what we're doing is we're trying to we're trying to we're trying to be contemporary and not like before where you know we're in this um, inferior status. They're always um, looking up to and admiring something that we see as higher up and above ourselves. What we're trying to do is have an equal conversation.